Today we're going to learn how to divide a decimal by another decimal. Specifically, we'll be working on estimation. Let's take a look at the problem. 45.98 divided by 0.3. We're going to estimate this answer. When estimating, we want to make sure to look at the divisor, and we want to estimate the dividend to a number, to a multiple of the divisor. In other words, we want to estimate this dividend to a number that can be divided equally by our divisor here. So 45.98 can be estimated to 45, because 45 can be divided equally by 3. So we'll rewrite this problem as 45 divided by 0 0.3. 0 0.3 can be split up into 0 0.1 times 3. Now we've worked on problems like this before, but we're going to review this first before going on to the next step. So 45 divided by 0 0.3 can be split up as such. And then we can solve this mentally by going through two steps. The first step would be doing 45 divided by 0 0.1. And we've now learned that when dividing a number by 0 0.1, we're going to be moving the decimal place one spot over to the right. So 45 divided by 0 0.1 is, 40, oop, is 450. Our next step is to take 450 and divide that by 3. Because we want to divide it by 0 0.3, we've just divided it by 0 0.1, and now we need to remember to divide it by the 3 as well. So 430 divided by 3 equals 150. So now we're going to work with, some, with a similar problem, except we're going to have more decimal places. So let's take a look at the problem 4.598 divided by 0 0.03. Now when we estimate this problem, we're going to still estimate 4.598 to the first two digits here. So we're going to estimate it to 4.5, because 4.5 is still divisible by 3. Remember the rule we learned in the beginning of the year, which was that if we add up the digits of a number, and they equal a number that is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. So even though this is a decimal, that rule still applies. So 4.5 can still be divided equally by 3, which is why we're going to estimate it to 4.5. Now 4.5 divided by 0 0.3, we're going to break up similarly to our first problem. 0 0.03 is the same as 0 0.01 times 3. So our first step is going to be to take 4.5 and divide that by 0 0.01. And we know that when we're dividing by 0 0.01, we have two decimal places. So we're going to move our dividend over two decimal places. So our answer is 450. Now remember, I just want to remind you over here of why we're actually moving that decimal place over. Remember, 4.5 over 0 0.01 needs to be made into an equivalent fraction. We need the divisor to be a whole number. In order to do that and make it a 1, we have to multiply times 100 to make the equivalent fraction. So whatever we do to our numerator, remember, we have to do to, or whatever we do to our denominator, we have to do to our numerator. So we need to multiply 100 times our numerator as well, and that's how we get 450. So just a little reminder as to why it is that we're moving that decimal place over. So now that we've gotten our answer of 450, our second step is to take 450 and now divide that by 3 our answer will be 150. So we, oops, forgot to box my answer. So we just solved a, de, a decimal, dividing a decimal by a decimal. Let's give another one a try. Let's try 5.94 divided by 0 0.7. We're going to estimate this one as well. 
When we're writing this problem, we know we're going to keep our divisor at 0 0.7, and we want to estimate our dividend. Now remember, we need this dividend to be estimated as a multiple of 7. So taking a look at these digits, 5, 9, 4, what could we estimate those two that would be a multiple of 7? Remember, I always advise to look at the first two digits and see if we could estimate those first. So I see that 59 is pretty close to 63, which is a multiple of 7. So I'm going to estimate 5.94 to 630, because 63 can be divided equally by 7. So, now I can split up 0 0.7 and 0 0.1 times 7. So now we're back to, we're back to solving. Our first step is going to be to take 630 and divide that by 0 0.1. Remember when dividing by 0 0.1, we need to move our decimal place over 1 to the right. So we need to do the same thing with our dividend. So our answer is going to be 6,300. 6, our next step is going to be to take that answer and divide that by 7. 6,300 divided by 7 equals 900. And there we have our final answer. So when dividing a decimal by another decimal, I always advise we take a look at the first two digits first to see if those two can be estimated to a multiple of the divisor. And then we solve it like this. So if you would like to review, you can replay this video. If you're feeling comfortable, I would like you to try this problem here. I'd like you to try this problem, 3.715 divided by 0 0.4. Give that one a try in your notebook and bring that into class tomorrow. We'll be going over that problem.